Okay, so this is another risk management framework, IT information system, RMF job, uh, job thing. So I've been doing these every week, and this week is no exception. But this time I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna read some of the comments that I got about this uh, series that I've been releasing. Got a few comments. I'm gonna go back and start with the ones I recently got here. So you should be seeing my screen and I'm reading comments. So I got one from Masaki 23 Joe, 20, 13 hours ago or so. He says, I have a BA in telecommunications. What areas of cybersecurity would fit my degree? Um, so really depends on the corporation and the contract. So the way that they do it, they being the, the corporation that had get a, gets a contract from, from private or public sector, they'll have a certain level of education and or certifications that they want the client, the employees to have. So in your case, you have a MA in telecommunications. That's good, you know. I mean, for just about any, just about any uh, risk management framework, IT security, security analyst, security specialist job that they want, I think that meets most requirements. But what they're gonna wanna, what they're gonna look for really is like what's your experience in IT security. If you don't have experience in IT security, they're gonna ask, well, okay, what's your experience in um, in IT? Like, have you do you fix systems? Are you do you fix servers? Have you done any security when you were setting up, say, a Microsoft server? Have you done? Because they'll pull from that experience if you have that kind of experience, right? And another thing that they'll sometimes do is like, do you have any certifications in Security Plus? Because sometimes like Security Plus or CAP or one of those other security certifications will supplement any missing um, experience that you have. So I hope that answers your question because uh, it's a technical it's a technical degree. And like I said in the last videos, a lot of times um, they just want. I've seen people with like I said. Uh, economic degrees or I saw a guy with a historian degree he had a PhD in history and he <laughs> now granted he had a certification a security certification I think I want to say he had a security plus and he also had a little bit of, of security background so anyway okay next question hey Bruce I got a security plus and a cap congratulations what do you suggest on how to get into risk management or security auditing field when someone doesn't have any experience. I do have seven years of desktop support and data center monitoring. Just want to try a different field, but uh, not sure how to get. Okay, this is an easy one. So this has come from Sean08. All right, Sean08. So here's what I would suggest. First, and that's a great start. What I would do is I would, if I were in your shoes, I would take my resume and I would make a security, an IT security resume. And here's how I would do it. Since you already have, you said desktop support experience and data center monitoring experience. First of all, data monitoring can be considered security because monitoring, continuous monitoring is a big security thing right now. So I would, when I redid my resume, if I were you, I would say all the times, I would mention all the times I did security on somebody's system. Because I'm sure if you did help desk, you loaded patches on somebody's systems before. Add that. Um, you can, it's the way you word it too. If you've ever loaded, had to clear out viruses, that's another thing with security. If you've ever had to, any kind of server experience at all, I'd put that in there. I would. So once you create, recreate your resume, right? You want to leave some of the technical stuff that you did in there, in there for sure, to show that hey, I'm technical, I've hands-on experience. But then you want to go to take it a step further and say, and highlight like at the top, the first sentence should be, maintain the security posture of 300 systems in uh, in in this department or something, whatever the department is. It could be. Department of Defense, uh, I don't know, whatever unit you were in, but 
you want to say something like maintain the security posture of 300 systems and such and such a unit by implementing over a thousand patches in in three years or something like that you want to put numbers and you want to say this was security because that's what you did right you're not lying you're saying I put these security patches in that's security I clean helped clean up this I love you virus in 2013 when it got infected uh, I worked with the security team to implement security controls in this environment on 500 systems all of that stuff is legit so I would rewrite your resume then another thing here's here's how you really get a job if you volunteer to go anywhere anywhere in the world anywhere in the United States you will find a security job with your experience level you will find one I can't promise you that you'll go where you want to go but I can promise you that you will get a job and I can't promise you it's gonna make the kind of money you want but everybody's got to start somewhere so that's what I would do redo your vid your resume focus on security in there and also open yourself up to go to other places um, let's see great stuff keep it up please no problem okay I got another one here what training is needed this is coming from David Petrell says what training is needed to get into security field uh, it says I have a BS in information security and work and working on my master's degree in cybersecurity and working on getting my CEH certificate what ways can I get into security field as I do not have any security experience and most job postings want four to five years of experience alright so first of all David I would go ahead you'd be surprised how many people will take you um, because you have a, a bachelor's degree in information security I would go ahead and put my security I would go ahead and put my resume out there and say just what you have I'd say that I have a cyber security degree and I'm working on my or actually you said you have a BS in information security and I would say I'm working on my CEH and you said okay now the issue is that you have no experience at all is that what you're saying here uh, did you guys have a lab in your university? Did you ever do any kind of setting up firewalls or something? I mean, there's something you had to do when you were going through this BS in information security. So if you're saying that you 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 have no security experience, what what you could do is take a low level job to begin with, right? At, in help desk or something, anything related to IT, right? to just to get your foot in the door and then do that for upwards of uh, six months to a year take that position for six, six months to a year this is if you don't have any IT experience I would take any job like help desk making minimum nothing right just to get the experience to get your foot in the door so once you get your foot in the door if you're just doing basic help desk work you're gonna apply patches which is security you're gonna monitor systems which is continuous monitoring by the way continuous monitoring is a very big deal in security in the security field because you're monitoring for anomalies you're looking for uh, is there a malware on the system is there a Trojan is there a worm is there is somebody trying to infiltrate the network so those are the kind of things that you want to put on your resume so that's why I say take any IT any help desk job to begin with for like up to six months right the more experience you get the better you gotta build up to the four or five years experience those jobs pay really good but you gotta build up to that right if you have at least three years they'll take you right if you have two years a lot of times they'll take. if you have one year and some IT experience a lot of times they'll still take you especially if you have a, a degree and a certification so you could be working on your CEH while you're at the help desk fixing uh, laptops in uh, in the first floor of IT or something I don't know and then as you're doing that you're building up your resume you're getting your CH your patching systems your your uh, get clearing out um, viruses you're installing new signatures for McAfee antivirus or whatever right and all those things are adding up I would get the experience in a low-level job build it up build up your resume then use that as a as your first step a stepping stool to get to another higher level position in IT security 
All right, let's go to the next one. Hope that helps out. Valerie, hey, and how you doing? He says, uh, keep up the great work. You rock. Okay, I know that guy. All right, let's just keep going here. Let me see if there's any other. I'm just kind of scrolling through my my comments here. I got another one on the security specialist jobs. One, I got three comments. It says, please post more, post more videos like this. I would like to know information, information security engineer versus network security engineer. Okay, I can do one on that. I can, I can give you some examples of that. For this one, I'm gonna keep it to just answering basic questions because I think I can do a whole video on the differences between those two things. Okay, so that's it. Um, answered a couple questions. I hope that those were satisfactory. Um, thanks, thanks, guys, for interacting. It lets me know, kind of gives me an idea of what kind of content I should put on this channel. Really appreciate it. And I'll be covering, I'll be doing more as soon as I can on uh, what kinds of jobs that I get in my inbox, and then I'll share them out to you guys. See you guys later. Make sure you like and subscribe to this video. Um, and um, also check out my course, which is network currently free. You can log into that and see more about NIST. I kind of go into more detail about NIST 837 Risk Management Framework if you're interested in getting into that. They just recently started changing it. It's gonna take upwards of a year to change it, so I'll be doing more series on that. You can check out the more details, downloadables, and all that kind of stuff. At my channel, it's at securitycompliance.thinkific.com, and I'll put that below and over here, somewhere over in this, maybe in this vicinity, there. And see you guys later.